about time. What's going on guys? So I know it's been a few weeks and sorry if I left you guys hanging. I just took a few weeks off. Been waiting on some parts to come in. Finally came in. Uh, my trucks have been running low on parts. A lot of them are broken so this was a very important delivery. Finally got them. Everything was so backed up from the holidays. I just could not get these packages. I ordered them before Christmas and I just finally got them today actually and I came back here. Couldn't wait to make a video for you guys. So let's dig in, see what we got in here. Been excited for this. I got a knife. Here we go. All right. Don't cut yourself now. Cut myself and pass out on camera. That'd be great. Oh, I got bubbles. Oh, got some X Max parts. Axles. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh. Oh, look at that. Two low axles. I uh, got some x max parts. Got a UDR rear axle because you never know when you're going to snap one of them. I forgot that I ordered an extra low rear axle. So, bulkheads. Nice new shiny parts for the x max Much need of those. I uh, got a Sidewinder 3 from Castle. That's a nice little ESC there. I know what this is. This is actually a body that I got for the uh, Super Rock Ray. Oh, got my UDR rear differential. That'll be handy. So now I can run the UDR again. I've been missing running that thing. Got a complete body set for the uh, Super Rock Ray here. What else we got? Some top A arms for the Super Rock Ray and a bottom A arm for the UDR. All right, so battery's done charging. So the UDR has definitely taken a beating. I finally got the differential locker in, like I said, and I'm gonna be putting that in the rear diff. And we had about six or eight inches of more snow. It's so hard to really go outside and run wherever I want to because guys, we got about that much snow out there and it's fluffy. So pretty much any RC out there is not gonna run through that snow. So I basically have to stay in the plowed areas. So let's get the differential fixed and let's get this old girl running. It's been a while since I ran it and I'm pretty excited too. So uh, let's get to work. And it also sheared the drive pin that goes through the axle shaft that your hex sets on. You know what I'm talking about right there. So uh, I don't have another one, but what I do is I have this piece of uh, rod right here. And what it is is these Allen keys. And this is an old piece that I messed up. And it just makes perfect uh, drive pins. So what I'm going to do is measure it to what I need and cut it down. And it makes it's perfect. You know, it's not too brittle. It actually has some give to it, which uh, obviously you get something too brittle, which I think these drive pins and things like that are. Uh, I think this works a lot better. It's got some spring to it, some memory. So let's get this cut and get it back together. Sorry guys, I don't have safety glasses, so don't judge me. All right, there she is. I'm, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and voila, done, just like that. So. If you got an Allen wrench, guys, it doesn't even have to be round. You know, you take a regular piece of Allen key like that, it still works. I mean, I got them in the front of this thing, too. I just take a little bit of Allen, cut it off to where I need, and you got a drive pin. So, fun fact for you. Also, I think I'm going to break out the Axial SMT-10. It's been a minute since I played with this thing as well. Yeah, I think it's time to play with this. So, can't wait. Let's get to work. Let's finish it up. All right, guys, so I'm actually finally changing this A-arm. I've ran this A-arm since last April like this. Uh, this little repair job I did, sorry, it's a little blurry, I don't want to focus. But I put this repair job on there and it held up and you can see the end there is broken off. I mean, it, I, it kept popping out. I always just snap it back in and it kept working, but it's finally time to change this A-arm and that's what I'm doing. So I'm gonna get this changed and then we're gonna get this thing out and play with it because I'm tired of working on it. So here we got the UDR. 
We got the SMT-10. Been a while since I ripped either one. Yesterday was actually my birthday. I, uh, I'm not even gonna reveal my age to you guys. Something I really shouldn't talk about, but yesterday it dumped snow for six hours straight pretty heavily. I mean, we had about six to eight inches before, and then it dumped another six inches. So I mean, 12 to 14 inches of snow, I think, and it is powdery, guys. So I can only really run where there's, you know, plowed. Yeah, that's a lot of snow right here, guys. Tons of snow. Oh, yeah. And I'm stuck. Hold <laughs> up production here. Okay, so I got a bit more room to work with here. Everything's plowed off nicely. So, uh, yeah, we should definitely have some more fun here, guys. I got sprayed on that one. I tried this in a previous video, a UDR backflip. Uh, I don't know if it'll work, but we're gonna give it a shot. Luckily, it's like a nice soft foam pitch, snowy pit over there. It just doesn't have enough inertia with the wheels, I don't think. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to pull it off, guys. No, it won't. It won't flip straight. It just has so much, you know, motor torque and everything just wants to twist. And it just corks out. All right. So I got the ramp propped up right here a little bit. I'm gonna go full ripping down the driveway, hit the ramp, and hopefully land in the nice powdery snow way down there. Should be epic. We got lucky, we just caught the soft snow. <laughs> Just caught the soft stuff right there. Third ground, soft snow. Right. Well, I walked it off, guys. There was about a 44 foot jump. That's pretty cool. It's so hard to keep it straight because paddle tires work good when they're moving straight, but once they start going sideways, you know, that paddle kind of becomes an ice skate. So, it, like, drifting is hard with them, and 
you know, just kind of hard to control when it's sliding. So, like I said, sorry I took such a long break. I was just waiting for parts and just started laying low. But a lot more to come here. I got some parts in now. We're going to start fixing some RCs and having some fun. As much fun as I can have, you know, because, like I said, the snow is so deep and so powdery. You know, maybe if we get a day where it melts a little bit, then it freezes up and gets that nice crust on top. Hopefully that'll happen. But the UDR held up nicely. So I'll catch you guys in the next video. And hopefully you have a... And hope, ah, it's hard to talk. Blah, blah. You know when your jaw gets cold and your lips get cold? So, we'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.